Hello viewers, welcome to Mac Tech. I am Amit Sharma. In this video, we are going to solve questions from 25 to 30 of chapter 3 from the book Contemporary Abstract Algebra by Joseph Gellin. So without a delay, let's start. Question number 25. Prove that for every subgroup of dn, either every member of the subgroup is a rotation or exactly half of the member are rotations. Let H is a subgroup of dn where n is greater than or equal to 3. If H consists entirely of rotations, then we are done. If not, suppose H contain a reflection F and exactly k distinct rotations say R1, R2 up to Rk. Now FR1, FR2 up to FRk, these are distinct reflections belongs to H. Why it is so? Because of the closure axiom. Now we know that product of any two reflections say fri and frj must be one of the k rotation r1 r2 up to rk why it is so because h contain only k rotations also the product of any rotation say ri belongs to h and any reflection frj belongs to h for one is less than equal to i comma j less than equal to k will be one of the other reflections Thus, H containing the element R1, R2 up to Rk, these are known as rotation. FR1, FR2 up to FRk, these are known as reflection. Implies H contain exactly half of the member as rotations and exactly half member as reflections. Hence, for every subgroup of Dn, either every member of the subgroup is a rotation or exactly half of the member are rotations. Question number 26. Prove that a group with two elements of order 2 that commute must have a subgroup of order 4. The following result is very useful in order to solve the question. Result Every group G is a subgroup of itself, it is known as improper subgroup. Let G be a group and A comma B belongs to G such that order of A equal to 2 and order of B equal to 2 and A B equal to B A. Since A comma B belongs to G, this implies A B belongs to G by the closure axiom. Now we have to show that A B is not equal to A, A B is not equal to B as well as A B is not equal to identity. Let if possible A B is equal to identity. Now multiply B inverse on both sides, we get A into B into B inverse is equal to E into B inverse. Now B into B inverse is identity and A into identity is equal to A. E into B inverse is equal to B inverse. This implies A is equal to B inverse, which is equal to B. Why it is so? Because the order of B is 2. This implies B inverse is equal to B, which is a contradiction as A comma B belongs to G are distinct. Again, let if possible A B equal to A. Now multiply A inverse on both sides. We get A inverse into A B is equal to A inverse into A. Here A into A inverse is identity, E into B is equal to B, A inverse into A is equal to identity. This implies B is equal to identity. This further implies order of B is 1, which is a contradiction as given order of B is 2. Similarly, we can show that A, B is not equal to B. Therefore, the set containing the element E, A, B, A, B form a subgroup of order 4 in G. Why it is so? Because of the finite step subgroup test. Hence, a group with two element of order 2 that commute must have a subgroup of order 4. Question number 27. For every even integer n, show that dn has a subgroup of order 4. Since n is even, this implies r 1 t belongs to dn. And we know that order of r 1 t is 2. Also, we know that any reflection f belongs to dn is of order 2. Why it is so? Because reflection is the self-invertible element. Now, r180 into f is equal to f into r180. That is, commute with each other. Therefore, dn contains two element of order 2 that commute. This implies dn as a subgroup of order 4. Why it is so? For more detail, see question number 26. Hence, for every even integer n, dn has a subgroup of order 4. Question number 28. Suppose that h is a proper subgroup of z under addition and h contains 18, 30 and 40 determine h. 
the following result is very important to learn in order to solve the question result let g be a group and h is a subgroup of g if h is not equal to g then h is called proper subgroup of g given h is a proper subgroup of z under addition also h contain the elements 18 30 and 40 since h is a proper subgroup of z this implies h is not equal to z this further implies h cannot be generated by 1 or minus 1 if it is generated by 1 and minus 1 then h is equal to z now let h is generated by a here a belongs to h which is further written as n into a where n belongs to z now we have to choose a belongs to h which generate h that also containing the element 18 30 and 40 therefore h is generated by 2 why it is so because 18 can be written as 2 into 9 here 2 is a and 9 belongs to z 30 can be written as 2 into 15 2 is a and 15 belongs to z and 40 can be written as 2 into 20 here 2 is a and 20 belongs to z hence h is a generated by 2 question number 29 suppose that h is a proper subgroup of z under addition and that h contain 12 30 and 54 what are the possibility for h now given h is a proper subgroup of z under addition also h contain the elements 12 30 and 54 since h is a proper subgroup of z this implies h is not equal to z this further implies h cannot be generated by 1 and minus 1 why it is so because if h is generated by 1 and minus 1 then h should be equal to z let h is generated by a here a is belongs to h this is equal to n into a such that n belongs to z now we have to choose a belongs to h which generate h that also containing the element 12 30 and 54 therefore h is generated by 6 why it is so because 12 can be written as 6 into 2 here 6 is a and 2 belongs to z 30 can be written as 6 into 5 here 6 is a and 5 belongs to z 54 can be written as 6 into 9 here 6 is a and 9 belongs to z also all the element that is generated by 6 also contain in the set generated by 2 and 3 because 2 and 3 lcm is 6 hence h can be generated by 2 3 and 6 Question number 30. Prove that the dihedral group of order 6 does not have a subgroup of order 4. The following results are very useful in order to solve the question. Result number 1. Let G be a finite group and H is a subgroup of G. Then order of H divides the order of G. It is known as Lagrange's theorem. Result number 2. If a positive number D does not divide order of G, then group G doesn't have a subgroup of order D. Now, given dihedral group of order 6, this implies it must be D3. Since 4 does not divide order of D3, which is 6, this implies D3 doesn't have any subgroup of order 4. Hence, D3 doesn't have any subgroup of order 4. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like the content, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. If you have any query, comment me. Thank you very much.